class six how are you all doing i hope all of you are well i hope you people are doing some home based activities i know we cannot go outside to play but yes you can play with your parents you can do some activities you can read books you can do uh, some drawings right so you should do some home based activities otherwise you will feel more bored and don't constantly sit at one place and go on doing the online classes take some breaks okay so i welcome you back to my class again today in this video we will start with a new topic that is latitude today in this video we will learn about a new topic that is latitude in the last video we learned about the term equator i hope all of you remember that the imaginary line that divides the earth into two equal halves now to find out the location of any place in the globe how we can find it out we can find it out through some reference points suppose if i have to find a place how far it is north or south of the equator where it is located whether in the north of the equator or whether in the south of the equator how can we do it we can do it with the help of latitude so what are latitude let us know the definition of latitude oh. what are latitudes all parallel circles from the equator up to the poles are called latitudes so here you can see this is the equator and this are the parallel lines or circular lines which are running from the equator up to the poles and we call them as latitudes so what are latitudes all parallel circles from the equator up to the poles are called latitudes you can see that latitudes can be also said they are horizontal lines so we can say that latitudes are horizontal lines just notice here they are parallel to each other so we can say they are also known as parallels of latitude now look at this figure you can see that the latitudes are running from east to west so we can say the latitude runs in an east to west direction but they measures distance of north or south from the equator right so latitudes run in an east to west direction but measures the distance north or south from the equator clear each degree of latitude is approximately 69 miles apart that means 111 kilometer each degree is divided into minutes and each minute is divided into seconds so if it is 1 degree this is degree sign of degree then it is 60 minutes divided into 60 minutes and 1 minute this is a sign of minute divided into 60 seconds clear that means each degree of latitude is approximately 69 miles apart that is 101 km and each degree is divided into minutes and similarly each minute is divided into seconds i hope so all of you understood now see this is a equator since the distance of the equator either of the two poles that is north or south is 1/4 of a circle round the earth that means 1/4 circle round 
the earth that means one fourth of 360 degree which means 90 degree thus 90 degree north latitude marks the north pole and 90 degrees south latitude marks the south pole that means 90 degree north latitude marks the north pole and 90 degree south latitude marks the south pole so all the parallels which are north of the equator are called north latitudes so these are my north latitudes and all the parallels south of the equator are called the south latitudes these are my north latitudes these are my south latitudes right now that means the value of each latitude is denoted either by the word north or south so value of each latitude is denoted by the word either north or south generally the letter N or S indicates north or south. Clear? I hope so. All of you understood this thing. Now, just look at this diagram and tell me how many latitudes are there in total. As I told you that 90 degree north latitude is a north pole and 90 degree south is a south pole. So, how many latitudes are there in total? There are 90 latitudes in the north and 90 latitudes in the south. So how many it is total? It is 180 degree of latitudes. So there are total 180 degree of latitudes. Clear? I hope so all of you understood. Now here you can see that these are all what? As I said circular lines, parallel lines. Now these lines as they are moving away from the equator and going to the poles you can see that the length is decreasing isn't it so the length decreases as we move from the equator towards a pole which is the longest circle or longest latitude the longest latitude is the equator otherwise all other latitudes are decreasing in their length as we are moving from equator towards the pole. Clear? Now let us know some of the features of latitude. Features of latitude. Number one, what is the feature of latitude? We can say they are horizontal lines. Parallel to each other. Runs in an east-west direction. Measures distance north or south from the equator. Latitudes decrease in length. as we move
move from equator towards poles. How many latitudes are there? There are 180 degrees of latitude in total. They are complete circles. Which is the longest circle or which is the longest latitude? That is equator. Except North and South Pole. South and North Pole are not circles. Right? You can see it very well. They cross the prime meridian at right angle. Now what is prime meridian? I will give you the definition in the next video when we will do longitudes. But let me just show you what are prime meridian. These are also imaginary lines like latitudes. So this imaginary lines, it divide the earth into two equal halves again. That is the western hemisphere and the eastern hemisphere. The prime meridian is located at zero degree. And you can see that here what is happening. The latitudes are actually crossing the prime meridian at right angle. At right angle here it is 180 degree. So at right angle it is crossing the prime meridian. They lie in planes that cross the earth's axis at right angles. So this is my axis and the latitudes they lie in the planes that cross the earth axis at right angles. So these are the features of latitudes, horizontal lines, these are most importantly these are imaginary lines right like equator all are all these are imaginary lines so these are horizontal lines parallel to each other runs in an east west direction measures distance north or south from the equator latitudes decrease in length as we move from equator towards pole there are 180 degrees of latitude in total they are complete circle except the north and the south pole cross the prime meridian at right angles the prime meridian which is dividing the earth into two hemispheres again western hemisphere and the eastern hemisphere and they lie in planes that cross the earth's axis at right angles so these are the features of latitude there are two places one in chandrapur one is Chandrapur in Maharashtra, which is located in India. And the other one is Velo Horizontal in Brazil, which is located in South America. Now, both of them are located on parallels of about 20 degree latitude but the former this is Chandrapur is located in 20 degree north and Velo Horizonte in Brazil is located in 20 degree south so we can say that Chandrapur is located in 20 degree north latitude that is in northern hemisphere and Velo Horizonte in Brazil is located in 20 degree south latitude in the southern hemisphere. That means why do we use latitude as i said earlier in the video that why do we use latitude we use latitude 
to measure a distance north or south from the equator. So, with the help of latitude, we can easily locate a place that whether it is located in the north of the equator or it is located in the south of the equator. Now, let us know about the important parallels of latitude. Important parallels of latitude. Besides equator, north pole and south pole, there are four important parallels of latitude. Let us see what are those. First, this is equator. We know that equator is the longest latitude or the longest circle. Next is my Tropic of Cancer, which is located at 23 and a half degree north. Tropic of Capricorn, which is located at 23 and a half degree south. We have the Arctic Circle which is located at 66 and a half degree north and we have Antarctic Circle which is located at 66 and a half degree south. This is our South Pole which is 90 degree south and North Pole 90 degree north. So, which are the important parallels of latitude beside North Pole, South Pole and Equator? Number one, the Tropic of Cancer, which is located at 23 and a half degree North latitude. Tropic of Capricorn, which is located at 23 and a half degrees south latitude Arctic Circle which is located at 66 and a half degree north latitude Antarctic Circle which is located at 66 and a half degree south latitude so these are four important parallels of latitude other than North Pole, South Pole and Equator. I hope so. All of you understood about latitude, which is also known as parallels of latitude and important features and important parallels of latitude. So go through the PDF, which is given in the description box. Go through your NCRT books. In the next video, we will try to understand about the heat zones of the earth, which is another interesting topic related to latitude. So till then, what you will do, you will read your book, you will watch this full video. If you like my video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click the bell button for upcoming video notifications. So till then, take care, stay safe and Stay at your home.